I want to do it in Ryan Dory. Uh, San Agi is usually one of the top tournament throws. Right? It's usually one of the, the, the top scoring throws in the World Championships, the Olympics. It's a very popular throw. And there's actually, there's a, there's a pretty moderate, pretty moderate uh, uh, risk of being countered. In, at least in terms of like other big tournament throws. Uh, Uchimata, uh, there, there is a higher probability that you're going to encounter. You're, 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 you have a little bit more exposure, right? And you know you can it's very you can very effectively faint if you if you do a good sanagi. They're really looking for you to attack sanagi. You have a good opportunities to attack in, in a backward direction with Kosoto or Uchigari. Kochigar, right? And it, without really committing a lot, you can very effectively faint and set your opponent up. So it is really, I think it's a good throw. Alright, so there's no question we're gonna we're gonna go to like what an and Yoko Bruno. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Energy to pick him up. 
when the timing is right, you actually catch him right at the right, right at the right time when he's lunging forward. Then you don't have to use as much energy. So, so, so we'll, we'll start practicing it tonight, or yeah. All right. So, you know, as far as placement, really, the thing about it is, is well, for this throw, and generally speaking, right, we have to capture our opponent's hara. Who, who, who knows what hara is, your hara? You know what it is. How about somebody else? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it is your, yes. It's your metaphysical center. Right? Uh, it's about two inches below your stomach. Right. Is that, have, you, have you heard of the term harakiri? Uh, harakiri. Right? It's, it's a stomach opening, stomach cutting. Seppuku is the Japanese But. And some haras are bigger than others. It's true. It's true. It's true. Well, I mean, in, uh, you know, Western culture, we kind of think like, like our spirit is somewhere, our soul, our spirit is somewhere here in our chest. Just for some reason, we think that's, you know, that's where our spirit resides, right? In Japan, and in, 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 in Eastern philosophy, it's here. It resides here. Um, and, when, you know, when we're meditating, at the end of class, that your focus should be here. It is your your metaphysical center of balance in so far as, you know, if I was made stiff as a board, even though I have a big head on, and they put me somehow on there, <laughs> basically I would balance out like a teeter-totter. And, uh, you know, when we're doing sushi, right, his head is forward like this, right? He's not off balance yet, right? He's not off He's not off balance until then he loses this. When he loses that, now he's off balance, right? When his weight is like, when he's like this, just like this. Yeah, or just like that, however it is, however your opponent is, he hasn't lost his balance yet. He hasn't lost his balance until he loses this, right? Spread your legs even, right? Spread your legs, go down, go over right. I haven't lost my balance. Until this part gets lost. So in some ways, you almost want to pull here. In some ways, you want to, it's tempting to, to position from here, right? If you're more effective some way, you can make him really lose his balance, force him to take a step. So that's where I want to be under. When I do my Uranagi, this is where I want this hand to be, here, underneath his, his center, which has moved forward. And I, and I want to cap this. Okay? I've been practicing judo a long time. I can't do this throw. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a tough throw. It's, it's an important throw to understand, not so much to execute. I, I've never seen this throw done in a tournament. Have you guys? It, a couple of times. No, yeah, it's, it's not done traditionally. It's, 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 it's done more to the side. Or you're here. Right. But even because you can't because you can't bear hug anymore, even you can't clench anymore. It's not you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's almost you can't do it almost legally. The whole idea is the left hand comes here, you almost imagine your fingertips reaching his hip here. This way. So you're here. And then you go. So when you fall back, you rotate and you unfold your arm and he goes over. Your left, hand, your left arm pulls him to you, so he's stuck to you. Your right arm does the picking up. Yeah, which makes sense, because if he's coming in to strike me here, I know there it is, it's right there. And see, we're already, we're already ready to go. I should be squatting farther, right. but this knee won't let me get back up, so I don't <laughs> fall right away. <laughs> I threw a refrigerator. Or he actually stepped back. No, you come in here, and then you sit. Now, right over, right over. 
I was taking about eight years ago. I was, I was going up a flight of stairs with a friend of mine with a refrigerator, and I was at the bottom. And he was like this. He said, Bob, I can't hold it. I said, well, you can't say that. <laughs> and he let go. And I started falling this way, and I put the refrigerator in my belly. I went back, way, way back, and I pushed because my feet were on the edge of the step. And I just went, oh, like that. And it went, it arced over the stairs and bounced about three times into the yard. What was that? <laughs> but what happens is when you're halfway through, the center of gravity of the, of the refrigerator is past, is past your head. And it's not heavy at all because it's already going over your head. And it was just a matter of pushing. And that's the same thing that happens here. When you sit down, you can feel his body go over. And there's a point where he's light. And you, that's when you push. And it works the same way. There's, not, there's no effort at all. There's hardly any effort. I was surprised myself. <laughs> I didn't want to get squashed. <laughs> so do you practice this with a refrigerator? <laughs> Uh, we could do that. On the crash pads? Or? We could practice. Oh, we should probably practice the pickup first. Okay. Yeah. All right, pair up with someone who's about your size.